In this video, we're going to show you how to pour some concrete driveway approaches. If you're new here, we want to welcome you to our YouTube channel. Um, our company, we specialize in poured concrete work. And we're going to be uploading a lot of videos about, you know, pouring all kind of different concrete work. So I encourage you to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you can um, check out all the videos. That we're, going to, we're going to be uploading several every week. Um, so right here, we're pouring some driveway aprons or other people know them by a driveway approach in this uh customers we're doing eight approaches um it's some condominiums in the city of portland and so it's i think it's part of like a homeowners association and the uh the customer you know they all decided to hire us so it worked out pretty good um right here we're starting on one end you know pouring the uh driveway approach and we're basically we have that screen you know from one end to the other end and we're starting to work the concrete along the edges with our hand tools right there and uh, we're using our shovels wherever we have a little bit of excess and just putting it in other spots that are low and um with our hand tool right there, we're just starting to smoothen out the surface, just feeling, you know, if there's any low spots. Right here, we have our bull float that we're gonna be using in a little bit. And uh, that way we can continue to just smoothen out the surface of the fresh concrete. So right here, we're starting to run our bull float on top of the surface. And as you can tell, there's a couple of low spots so we're just bringing in some concrete it's always a good idea you know to have like a, a wheelbarrow of excess concrete just in case because you will find you know in some spots that it's a little low so you're going to need that extra concrete to fill in those little holes or dips or gaps or whatever um like right here you know we're needing a decent amount so there you know we're just running our hand tool right there just kind of filling in those spots getting a little bit of concrete moving it over just kind of smoothing making sure everything is is you know there's no holes or um you know making sure the concrete is nice and, and firm all the way through and we sped up the video here a little bit just to kind of show you the process especially because you know we are pouring several aprons here and uh in some cases we also did a little a sidewalk um it got damaged th um, throughout our construction so we had to replace that area but so there we're running the bull float and then we have the um the tool right there just running it across and just taking out any excess concrete and uh just shoveling it out so we're just going with one truck. I believe we were able to pour like four different aprons. And so here you see the bull flow. We run it from one end up and down. And then we run it horizontally, you know, across. So that way we can get a nice um, prep finish there. And so right here, we kind of uh, have it in a good spot. We kind of left the concrete there um, to dry a little bit, you know, so that way we can continue to work and and do some other um some other things to it as well so we just have our tool right there we just continue to um you know the concrete at this point is still pretty wet still pretty loose so it allows us to really work everything fill it in and just any deficiencies that we find or any additional low spots we're able to just fill it in and still work the concrete pretty easily right here so this is a fresno tool that we have right there we uh, use this tool to um you know seal the surface and just kind of uh 
even smooth, you know, to smooth it out even further. Um, so we, we like to run this tool right here, uh, especially after we do the bull float. This is the one that goes after. So then um, after that point right there, we started to make all of the lines. We just run a little tool along the edge and we started, we made all the joints. We run our edger, you know, along all the edges so that way we have nice clean edges in all of the aprons. And there it is. So we have one, two, three, four. We have several aprons already kind of prepped and set up with the concrete have the joints put in place we have that that tool that we ran along the edge of the curb that makes that definition and in this apron right here we had a like a utility box in the middle of it so we just making sure that it, it was at the level of the concrete slope and we just have to work the um the concrete make sure that it matches the level in all four corners or edges of that um, utility box so as you can see there you know he's just kind of smoothing out the concrete making it um, just really nice in those areas and then um, any concrete you know we notice there's a little bit of low spots we just bring it over and fill it in those are the wings and then right here you know we have like our nice little um, Fresno tool that we use to smoothing make it even smoother just getting the edges um, right here is pretty much after this point we're, we're gonna be able to do the broom finish so right here you know that's pretty much the process we ran the the broom across this one here also uh, this second apron with the sidewalk area and we're just getting our broom right there we have a a nice pole extension right here we have two poles connected with that broom finish so we can get it from one end and just uh run the broom across the entire surface so we just got to make sure that the broom is nice and straight and you just let it glide um you just kind of let it glide straight through across and that will give you that nice broom finish as you can tell the surface you know it's a little bit shiny it's still a little bit um you know damp that's kind of how you want it to look so you know that at that point right there you can run the broom across the surface you don't want to wait for it to dry too much you know because then it, it won't come out well but like here this is an example of how the broom finish looks you can see the texture how it came out really nice and uh overall yeah it worked out pretty good right here we're starting to remove the forms in front of the curbs um you know we always got to set up those those forms straight and then we just slope the concrete from the um upper part of the curb and then down to the where it meets with the street so we just get the curb a natural uh slope so we're just removing all of the forms right there and as you can see the face of that curb it's it's pretty nice pretty solid so we're just gonna remove all the um the nails and then we're just starting to clean all of the edges of the curb area removing all of that concrete and just cleaning up all of that edge so we can be able to work it pretty nicely and then um like you see right there you know we just work the edge and broom it so we also broom finished the curb. So right here, we pretty much um, did all, all of these right here. We got uh, worked all of the edges there where it meets with the asphalt nicely. So that's pretty much how we do the aprons. We hope you like this video. I know this was a little short one, but uh, we're gonna be making some more in-depth videos. So please subscribe to the channel and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in the next video. May God bless you.